Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I think it's fantastic that you joined me today for episode number 238, where I'm going to show you how to bring back an item with first non-blank entry. A little backstory to go along with today's podcast. Spring has finally sprung here in North Idaho, and it is absolutely awesome. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to go out and ride my mountain bike in the woods not too far from my home here. And I went out this morning, had a glorious time. Uh, it's been since September or since October since I've been on my bicycle, so certainly overdue. And maybe I'll post a couple more pictures of uh, the beautiful trails we have here in North Idaho. Nonetheless, that kind of sets us up for today's podcast. Let's pretend that I have a model. Of course, we want to model our rides, our mountain bike rides in Quantrix Modeler. So let's uh, say we have a list of uh, comrades here, if you will, who go mountain biking with me from time to time. We've got Brian, Billy, Mark, Brett, Arnie, Derek, and Mustang, and we have weeks going across the top. And I simply want to list, you know, who rode with me that week. And what I want to do over here is I want to create some sort of report where I know at least uh, who who rode with me? Just give me one person who rode with me. So what I really want to do is I want to find the first person that is not blank in each one of these lists in each one of these weeks, and I want to bring back that value here. And how I do that is simply by writing a select statement, but it's really a select statement with a flying key. And you can learn more about flying keys in episode 200. If I go here, I say one person who was there. I simply say select. What do I want to select? I want to select the at category of B. If I wanted to call this friends, I could rename it friends, but right now it's just category B. And if I want to bring back an item within a category and it's not a cell value, I go ahead and use this structure function called at. Uh, and I'm doing that right there for category B. And then what is my key list? Well, my key list is really uh, matrix one. I want to look at the entire thing. And so I'm just going to put matrix one with a double colon. And what that's telling Quantrix is, you know, it's really just whatever's in matrix one, that's going to be my key list. And what I want to say is if it does not equal to blank right here. So if it doesn't equal a blank, I want that to be trues or falses, so ones or zeros, and I want to bring back the first one that is true, so the first one where it is not blank. So I would expect to see Billy brought back here. I would expect to see Billy brought back here. I would then expect to see Brian in week three. In week four, I would expect to see nobody because uh, nobody rode on week four. And then uh, Mark, I would expect to see on week five, Derek on week six, and so on. So. This is how you would bring back the first non-blank uh, item within a list and have that list if that list were also uh, within a category or items within a category. You'd use this at structure function. And then I've got some double colons going on here, which really just means, you know, the entire matrix is kind of my key list or all values within that matrix. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.